Clint, Clint, you all right, honey? What? What? What happened? Oh, Jesus, my head! Looks like you might have lost a fight with a live wire. I was just about to call an ambulance. I'm fine. Exactly. How long have you been working for the utility company? Yeah, I um. Shit. Relax. I know what you were doing. Dad's machine. Gotta have power. I know. I know. How is he doing? Fine. <sighs> I bet he is. Hey, you remember my granddaughter Terry? It's been what, ten years? Jeez. I used to catch you two all the time playing doctor. Remember? Oh yeah, I remember. Hi, Clint. Hi. When Dad went to jail and Mom disappeared, I went to live with Mrs. Honeyhill for two years. Terry and I were practically brother and sister during that time. Uh, Terry, honey, why don't you wait in the car? I need a sec with Clint. Okay, Nana. Good to see you again, Clint. See you around. I hope. I'm so fucking bored. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you, Terry. Talk inside. Yeah, sure. I'm looking after Terry now. Her mother has a great job doing meth and smoking pole in L.A. Poor kid was starting to do stupid shit herself. I take her on ride-alongs with me, you know, keep her occupied and maybe scare her straight. Good idea. I haven't seen you for a while, Clint. How are things, really? Okay, I guess. Stealing power to keep your dad's dialysis running. <laughs> It doesn't exactly suggest all is well. well I, I didn't have much choice. I just don't want you getting yourself fried in the attempt. Next time you need help with power or anything else, you call me first. Is your dad holding steady? Not really. He's sleeping. Hi, Roger. Hi, sweetie. Jesus, he don't look good. When he sleeps, he sleeps deep. It's a real. It's a real shame to see him like this, isn't it, Clint? But he's been off ever since your mom. I wasn't real happy to see the sons parked in front of your place, and that Tim Traeger is a psycho. Anyway, I pulled up so no one got any ideas about bothering Roger. What did Duke want anyway? Huh? He wanted Dad's gun. And did you give it to him? Yes, I did. Jesus Christ, honey, are you crazy, Clint? Why would you do that? I needed money to pay the landlord. But that's so stupid and dangerous, Duke, with a gun. A gun that's legally registered. I'm sorry, deputy. I didn't have a choice. Well, I appreciate your being honest. That always goes a long way with me. I'll find a reason to pull Duke over and get it back. Keep you out of it. Just how deep is your brother in with the club? I don't really know. Don't know or won't say. I really don't know. Well, he's your family. You gotta take care of family. I guess. But you're staying out of trouble, right? That's a good thing. Yep. You're much better off being in school, Clint. And it's coming right up. You must be getting excited. Your dad was over the moon when you got accepted. I tell you, so proud to see you get out of this dump. He told me, thinking of you going off to get an education actually improved his health. Yeah. What's wrong? Something up? Nah, it's all good. Really? Come on, Clint. You nervous about moving to the big city or something? Things aren't turning out the way Dad might have hoped. Why is that? Forget it. It's nothing. I'm just being dumb. Are you sure? I know you wouldn't want to do anything that would break your father's heart. Is there anything you want to tell me? No. Everything's fine. Really. Okay. I guess you got it all under control then. Don't need my help at all. Okay. Well, I got things to do. 
But, um, I wanted to give you this little care package. There's stuff for you and your papa here. You make sure he gets it, you hear? We'll talk later. Well, Clint? Yeah? You gotta clean up your yard some, or I'm gonna have to write you up. I will. Okay, Clint. I'll take you at your word. Thanks. Deputy Honey Hill. Got the power on. Hey boy, Clint. What she want? She bring a care package. Oh yeah. Go check it. Boy, she was one smoking engine back in the day. I'm just sorry I never got a chance to take her for a spin. How'd she ever end up a cop? Her granddaughter's staying with her now. Terry. Yeah? She good looking? Yep. You should take her out. That'll happen. Look, Dad, I should get you back in. Get you hooked up. Let me find out here for a bit, and I'll go check the damn care package. It's strange that a family of bikers, thieves, and retards would get care packages from a cop. But Janet Honeyhill had been a friend for years. She was Mom's best friend. She was the only law left in Lincoln. And most of her job was looking the other way. The fuck is this? Thank God. It's enough to pay Brock. Thank you, Mrs. Honeyhill. You are a goddamn angel. Oh, baby. No shit. Best cop Ever. Hey, Dad. Ta da. <laughs> That's great, son. You got the job done. You always do. And bless Honey Hill's big, sweet Indian ass. When Dad got out of prison 15 years ago, he gave up all the bad shit. The violence, the drinking, hard drugs, all of it. He turned to the Bible. But he never gave up the weed. His only joys in life became his blunt, his parrot, and some delusional vision of my future. Dope took his pain away. Now more than ever. <laughs> hey, I'm Beatrice. I'm a friend of your brother Duke. I'm... Clint. So, can I come in? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks. I'm getting kind of wet out here. <laughs> What you watching? Oh, oh, jeez, it, it's stuck or something. Well, Doctor Three, nice. Well, this is humiliating. I think it's hot. <laughs> One and two were much better, but three holds its own. Clint, who's out there? You got a girl in the house? It's it's just the TV, Dad. Go back to sleep. That's my dad. Actually, uh, I should go get him. Your dad, huh? 
the infamous Jolly Roger. Hey, Roger. How are you feeling? They send you here for my boy? You could say that. You need anything, honey? I'm fine out here. What's your name? Beatrice. Beatrice, huh? Well, go easy on it, Beatrice. All right. Close the door. Sure thing. It's nice to meet a legend. Hey, can I get you a cupcake or something? <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. Oh, but a hit off that would be nice. Oh, yeah, sure. Jesus, where'd you get this? <coughs> From a deputy, actually. All this bike shit yours? Uh, I'm rebuilding the knucklehead. When I can afford parts. Classic. So, aren't you gonna ask who I am? What I'm doing here? Uh, I, I don't know, but Duke doesn't live here, you know. I'm not here to see Duke. I've been sent here as a gift from Tig Traeger for fixing his bike. What do you mean a gift? <laughs> it's weird, huh? Do they think they can just do that? I, I, I don't, I don't get it. Wait, stop. What's wrong? You don't like your gift? What? No, no, no. Y y yes, I, I, I do. I mean. You don't like girls? No, no. I, I mean, y yes, I, I like girls. Oh, I get it. You're shy. <laughs> Adorable. Rare, too. Every biker I've ever met is a horny little cunt monkey. No, I'm not a biker. Really? How come? It's just a bunch of bullshit. So if you're not a biker, what are you then? Ah, uh -uh. let me guess. You're gonna be a pilot when you grow up. Well, airline mechanic. At least that's the plan. Or, or was the plan. I, I don't know. I was in the air reserves. Mm hmm. Really? I got this close to getting my wings. <sighs> Flew a T6 Texan, T38 Talon. <laughs> so, what happened? I quit. It's complicated. Oh, okay. I bet you give really good back rubs, right? Uh... <laughs> oh, you are so sweet. Come on. You? Duke's girlfriend? He's just a lowly prospect. They can't have girlfriends. Don't you know that? Well, what are you waiting for? Mm. Oh, mechanic hands. Uh, so flying wasn't your thing? Mm. <laughs> no way. Flying feels incredible. I'd give anything to be back in a cockpit. But you quit. <laughs> yeah. Well, honorable discharge, actually. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is really good, Clint. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I'm all relaxed now. Telling you about my past and shit. <laughs> You're like a shrink or something. I... I guess. How well do you know Duke? Well enough.
What? What? Why did you laugh? Uh, no, nothing. I was just... What? It, it's stupid. Tell me. Well, if I can fly planes and you can fix them, we could open up a business. We? Our own private airport, like up north. Like Alaska. You and me? Fly tourists around. Lumberjacks, government types and stuff. Exactly. Whoever. Be couriers. Leave the bullshit. Be free and breathe clean air. Like that. Our own bosses. Could you imagine? Yeah. Be great. <laughs> It's great, yeah. Let's do it. You and me. Why not? I I'm, I'm in. Where do I sign? Clint, have you ever been with a girl? Uh, I... <laughs> I, I guess I never... Well, I, I kind of just... I figured as much. You ready then? It's been a long time since I took a guy's cherry. <laughs> You'll like it. Promise. Time's up. I want my money. Brock, good news. I got the full 800. 25 to spare. Actually, I'm gonna need a thousand. Well, what are you talking about? We shook on eight. Shake my fucking cock. We changed our mind, and we call the shots. Not you, you little freak. I've been too easy on you as it is. Well, this is what I got. You take it or leave it. And keep my dad out of this. Jesus, are you one sad little man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's this? You can't be his girlfriend, because you're way too hot for a faggot like that. It's my girlfriend. Doesn't matter who you are. I can see what you are. A biker whore. Tell you what, I'll take half an hour with this little piece of ass. And we'll call that 800 good. It's, it, it's bleeding pretty bad. It doesn't hurt. How's the arm where the dog bit it? It's fine. It's not fine. I mean, you'll live, but that needs some attention. I'll patch you up. Hey, I'm, I'm okay. Come on. I take it you have some peroxide and band-aids? Just a sec. Hello? Yeah, what the fuck do you expect? What do you mean, Duke? Just promise me you'll stay put until I call. Well, well what the hell is going on? And, uh, Duke! Duke! Shit. What the hell was that? Something's happening at the club. Duke was a mess. Said not to come anywhere near. He sounded like he's in trouble. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. You think we should call Honey Hill? No, no cops. I have to go out there. What else did he say? I don't know. He didn't say much. There was somebody screaming. Shit. I'll go. You stay. Not a chance. I'm going with you. It's too dangerous. You said chivalry was dead. Thing is, you don't know the place. I can get us in, and then I'll hang back and let you do all the brave stuff, okay? The only wheels I have is my shitty dirt bike. It's gonna be pretty rough. It's not street legal. I'm gonna have to keep off the main roads to avoid the cops. I, I, I don't know, B. I, I think you should stay here. Trust me, Clint. I can handle a rough ride. Now let's go. Okay. Dirt bike it is. Come on. the truck. We're going to crash.
We're going to crash! Your bikes. Pull in behind that sign and shut off your light. Those are lions. What are they doing out here? Follow them, but don't let them see us. They're getting away. Get too close. They're getting away. Boathouse, we better tell Duke. Brother, right? It's take with you? No. What the hell is going on? This is no place you want to be. It's not Let safe. Let us in. Believe me, you do not want to be here. It's not fucking safe, man. Open the gate now. <coughs> My god! Yeah, 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 right. This is the It's bad. Bill's got shot. I've never seen blood like that. His guts are coming out. This blood is happening. Hey, where's Tig? Wait, did you say Wheels got shot? By who? God damn it! Those are real bullets, man! Someone's shooting! It could be anywhere! I don't know where the fucking piece of shit is! My bike! Jesus Christ. Clint! He's dead. Take it. Go, go, go! Every bone in my body was telling me to run, to get out of there as fast as I could. But something new was coursing through my veins that pushed me forward. Something more powerful than fear. What happened? 
happened to Jack off? He's dead. We have to get inside. What the hell is Clint doing here? Jesus, I told you to stay away! Please, don't do it, Jesse. I have a little baby. Yeah, he's two months old. He needs his daddy. What are you doing, little brother? Finish it. I beg you, Holmes. I don't want to die. I don't want to leave my kid without a father. He was going to kill us. Blow this piece of shit away. Next time on Sons of Anarchy. In just a few hours, the kid I used to be was dead up there in the Sons of Anarchy clubhouse. I had no clue what would rise up in his place. Holy shit, that's a fucking grenade! I am the Sons of Anarchy, dickhead. And tonight, you are too. Eh, let me go, Vendejo! You're not taking me anywhere without it! Peace at me again, and I will violate. Tig, look out! Tell me again that it was Duke and not you. I need to hear it.